Oh my gosh, my mic wasn't on this whole time. Oh my gosh. All right, time for a proper intro. You're going to probably see a sneak peek of what happened. Hello, everybody. This is me, Nathan, from Dark Strife. Oh my gosh, my mic wasn't on. And, uh, yeah. Either way, we're back to the Minecraft world. Now, there has been a lot that I have done because I happened to lose an old recording and I was just like, really do just like rah, about it so i did manage to get some diamonds and as you can tell i did not actually cheat for that and we're gonna start up a new mine now i am bored of minecraft modded and stuff too it's just you know as much as modding is fun okay good i found my old mine because i haven't played this in a while but i knew i had my mine over here so, as I was saying, yeah, I was just getting bored of modded and stuff. And as you can tell, I got a little bit extra tools. Now, I haven't played vanilla Minecraft in a long time. So, you're going to have to excuse my lack of knowledge. I think it's been like a year. Oh, and I got to mine one up on these. I'm not going down smoothly. But either way, yeah, we're back to vanilla for now. I am just bored of modded, and uh, yeah. Also, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break from Power World. But as you can tell, this is as far as I got to. This is where the diamonds were and stuff. So either way, back to mining. But I do want to say this is going to be a series that is going to be back in action. And... Yeah. Either way. Now, obviously, I am not used to vanilla anymore. <laughs> so, I gotta get used to a lot of things again. Basically, um, I need to find, uh, hopefully, some natural obsidian. If not, I need to find more iron. I never seem to have enough iron. And, as you can tell, I already started with some farms and, uh... Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so used to the teleport scroll. I'm not used to walking. But yeah, why mine over here? Well, because there's water down there at the other end, and I don't feel like drowning. Again. Yes, it's actually something that happened prior, and I ended up losing a lot of stuff. But yeah, I am not used to this Minecraft version anymore. I don't know, it just feels so alien. But uh, with that being said, I do have some major builds involved. The first is actually building a proper shelter. And then hopefully we can get some villagers in. I'm going to have to kidnap some now. I don't remember. Well, I, I'm going to have to take some from the village or I'm going to have to cure some. Because I want to make a trading hall and stuff. I don't plan on... Is that a mob? Might have been just cave sounds. As I was saying, I don't plan on having like a whole bunch of things like that is like super casual anymore. I want to run more efficient Minecraft. So that being an iron farm, you know, all sorts of stuff. Just quality of life stuff. You know, instead of having to hunt down what villager I need for mending, I mean, at least I know how to get mending with relative ease. But yeah, we're going to have to go to that original cave at zero, 0 Oh, it's nighttime. We'll be fine. I got some armor on. I mean, it's not like I have to worry about getting hunted. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I am not continuing that mod pack series. And that's because of uh, the factor that... I ended up getting a nice good warning to not share that, and, uh... I'm on fire. There we go. But yeah, one of the mod authors actually had, uh, had a bit of an issue. 
I forgot that I could just spam my sword in this version. See, I'm so used to Java Edition that I forgot I can spam my sword. And uh, it's thanks to that, yeah. Okay, so there's a spider over here. Oh, fine, it's raining. Oh my gosh, so I turned off my resource packs. I don't have any resource packs on, do I? I don't. Well, active. What's the one that says it's active? That might be just regular Minecraft, right? Yeah, global resources. Look at that! Oh my gosh, there's like a little mist at the end. Okay, so I was building this. Uh, I got the hiccups. <coughs> and a cough. Oh wait, this is too high. I know, it looks like Jim it looks like a little Timmy's first hut, but I can guarantee you it is not. It's actually something quick I had to build up before I had like a bunch of zombies and Yeah. Because, again, Bedrock is actually a bit hotter than uh, Java, and, yeah, that's a little fun fact for all of you. Yeah, Bedrock pretty much takes the, amp the uh, difficulty and amps it up to, a fucking, uh, about to, like, ten times. Can't curse in the Minecraft videos, Nathan. You gotta keep it PG. You can curse in any other video, but not Minecraft. Oh, fuck it. It's my own YouTube channel. What am I talking about? I can censor it. I'm my own editor. But yeah, as I was saying. Why does that look off? Maybe it's my field of view. Probably. Either way. Instead. Let me cut pressure plates. There we go. Perfect. Either way, like I said, not a good thing about Bedrock. I'm so used to the modded, is that anything, any little sound that I hear, I am, like, looking at it, like, I'm going to be in danger. And I'm not just talking about the whole, like, mod pack that I made. I'm also talking about my friend's mod pack, because he has Alex's mobs in it. Which is kind of what inspired my mod pack, actually. But yeah, I'm going to make, I can't wait to actually get this all sorted and automated, but for me to do that, because I'm going to be using redstone and stuff, and I can even show you guys how to use, uh, what's it called, dustless redstone contraptions, which means it doesn't require any redstone dust other than the crafting recipes. So that would be interesting. I also need to get a cow farm, a sheep farm. I need to get glass. I also will need a map too, so. Like I said, I already have some redstone and stuff. But the problem is, I need one more piece of iron in order to make a map, actually. Well, a map with a locator on it, so I can actually come back here easily. Again, I don't know if it's turning nighttime or not. That's it, I'm making a clock. I don't usually make clocks. But thanks to it raining, uh, we're going to have to. Plus, it probably wouldn't help to have a clock, maybe even an iron frame. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look how much time we have left. We got about, like, a few minutes. Problem is, the light level is probably low enough for mobs to start spawning early because of the rain. But I think we should be fine. Oh, that's right. I forgot I was going to let Bob spawn. I have some of the worst memory ever. 
Oh, the skeleton did spawn here. Oh, skeleton jockey. Nice. Yes, you know you want the wheat. That's what that's one thing with Bedrock Edition is that animals I believe naturally spawn. I believe. Unless these cows suddenly came out of the ground, then I don't know. There's a wolf puppy. Puppy in the water. Come over here. I'll save you. There you go. Let's see if we can speed up the growth. There we go. Yes. I... Yes, I got one. I saved him. Hey, put down in the comments what we should name the first dog. The first dog. Actually, you know what? Come on there, pup. No, I need to get a second one, but yeah. What should we name this guy? You guys in the comments again. Put it put it in the comments what we should name him. That's a bubble column. Ah. Thank you for my leads. Either way, what do you have? Sea pickles, uh, bucket of tropical. Eh, bucket of tropical fish isn't that bad. Oh, there you are. I was worried about you. There you go, you sit right here. All right. Like I said, put the name down in the comments, uh, the most liked uh, thing, if or even the first comment. If it's the only one, we'll get the name of the dog. What's I have a name tag? Either way. That didn't say the uh, crops are almost fully done. And then we're going to let the night come up a little because I want to get more bones. There we go. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a creeper. Ah, creeper hull. That hole's about to be made deeper. <laughs> We're about to have a creeper hole inside the creeper hole. Oh, that's a pelager patrol. Give me your crossbow. Oh, he dropped a carrot. Ah. <sighs>
You know, I could have sworn I was far away enough. Oh, okay. I was, like, taking a look at the corner of my eye. I saw particle effects. I was like, huh? And then I realized it's the uh, wandering trader being invisible again. Cave noise. Alright. But yeah, it was just one pillager, so I'm guessing the rest of the patrol either did spawn, or... Da dum da dun da dun da 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 I mentally tortured that creeper. Ow. That spider has a long reach. Aren't you supposed to be sinking in the water? Oh well. But yeah, I plan on mob proofing the whole base. Specifically creeper proofing. Da dun Da dum Da dum bum 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 Uh, we can use the gunpowder for finding netherite later. And so what I should build... In fact, since archaeology is a thing... I want to build one of those brushes. I actually want to make a couple of them. By couple, I mean three. Ah, the dolphin. The treasure map and all this paper. Okay, we got what we needed. Okay, see, okay, there's a little trick with Bedrock's uh, maps. So on Java, you would have the 9-9, nine, nine, but the problem is on Java, your thing would be below the X. So you want to get yourself properly centered, do a spin to make sure you can touch all four of those evenly. And that means it's in one of these two. When they're in this area right here. What? But I'm in the center of the X. Man, that's weird. Is it underneath? Yeah, I was right. So some gold. So now we're rich. I'll go ahead and put this map here. So TNT. Don't really need the TNT. We'll leave the nugget behind. I want to take this bucket. Actually, I want to take the chain boots real quick. Put those on. Take the lead. I'll take this. Yeah. Ooh, glow squid. Oh, 
All right. And uh, for the reason for the book and quell, which we'll go ahead back to base, because I know it's down this direction. Oh, wow. Well, that most likely will cause a little bit of problems. Piece of gravel fell out. Well, at least we can get our kelp farm going. Now, I hear what you're saying, but Nathan, there's no create. What's the point of kelp? Well, you can still make kelp blocks, which is useful as a building block and for fuel. And there we go. That was a good adventure. There we go. So that's what the bucking quill is used for. Oh. Okay, good. It keeps the data. There's a lot I got planned. There's another wolf. There we go. Now we got two wolves, which means we can make that dog army. However, I'm going to dye the collar of the first one. So, again, you guys can, uh, what's it called? You guys can name it. Yeah, we'll use a lilac for now. We'll go ahead and make a bone mail. Oh. As I completely missed because of how bedrock is. There's this lilac here. And we'll use the magenta dye. So we can name this one. Now, if you want to name this one, we can also give a name to this one over here. This one has a red collar. This one has a magenta collar. So again, give the names down, but I can actually uh, show you how I, just an example, put down like the collar and what I should name it. So that way when I get a name tag, I can put it up. Either way, I'm going to put down some signs for to-do lists. So those are the goals for later on. So let's start with this one first and get the easiest one out of the way. Which is luckily, I just have to get some sand. Done. And with that being done, I believe I can dye signs. So we're just going to use magenta for now until I can get some green dye. But, uh, yeah, we finished the windows. Now we still got to detail it, actually, before we can even do that. So, all right. So we did what we needed to do for the first one. I'm getting messages like crazy. So, boom. That means we're done. Oh my gosh. Did one thing now. The next thing is to have a pig farm, cow farm, and villager hall. Or at least that's one of the to-do lists. The next one is an enchantment table and books. And one large map. That's another thing we got to do. The next thing we got to make is a storage hut. That's where we're going to have our things. And it's also going to have to be... It's also going to have to be uh, making a, like a larger storage that has everything all set. And that's what we're going to use the leather for, so we can actually visually see what's on the outside instead of reading a sign. As you can see, everything's going nice and good. And, uh, yeah, it's me, Nathan, from Doc Strife. And I will see you in the next episode. Peace.